Hi, Stan Bruce. It's Eleanor McGarry, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Canada. And today we're going to be using products from the January through June mini catalog. We will be using the Slim Saying stamp set that features greetings that fit perfectly into a slim light card, which measures, as you know, eight and a half by three and a half. And we are also going to be using a new die set that coordinates with the Slim Sayings, the Slim Card dies. And in this set of dies, you will get four dies all together. Two of them are border dies and the other two fit perfectly in the center of your card to make a nice design element. For the actual card we will be using the Forever Fern stamp set and I'm also going to be showing you how beautifully our coordinating slim line envelopes fit with our slim saying stamp set and dies. They come in smoky slate, soft succulent, and basic white. There's going to be 15 altogether, five of each color, and I love the beautiful paper inside. We're going to be using rich Razzleberry cardstock measuring eight and a half by seven. Score it in the center at three and a half, so when you fold it, you end up with a card measuring eight and a half by three and a half. The white card that'll go on top of it has already been cut using one of the border dies that comes in the slim card dies. The ink colors we're going to be using are Rich Razzleberry, Blushing Bride, and Gray Granite. And the stamp images from the Forever Fern set are going to be these three images. I'm going to go ahead and open up our ink pads so that they're easily accessible when I start to stamp my images on my card. So on the white layer, I will start stamping along that center using the largest image and my darkest color, which is Rich Razzleberry. I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that leaf all along the left side of that white card in a random pattern. You want to leave the right side of that card fairly open and blank because that's where you're going to stamp your greeting. The second image I'm going to stamp in gray granite and I'm basically just stamping where I have white space that I've left for stamping. And then your last and smallest image I'm going to stamp in Blushing Bride. Again, just looking for those white areas that are left open and have not been stamped in yet. So there's no rhyme or reason to this. You're just doing a random pattern and stamping as best as you can in all the white areas. Now that we've done all our stamping, we can go ahead and assemble our card. Using the liquid glue, I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the back of our white layer and then go ahead and glue that onto my rich Razzleberry card base. When you run the white cardstock in your die cut machine, the edge of the steel die creates a little line there that I wanted to hide, so I decided to just add a little bit of the rich Razzleberry cardstock to cover that line. It acts like a border and gives a nice detail element to your finished card. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the greeting on top of that using the same color of ink, Rich Razzleberry. The greeting is from the Slim Card Sayings, the Slim Line Sayings stamp set. And it says, you really are fabulous. And the last step is I'm going to add some of the polished dots, which are clear embellishments that add to the finish of the card. This polished dots are adhesive backed and are semi-translucent dots that come 120 to a pack, 60 in very vanilla and 60 in Calypso Coral. And I'm going to use the Calypso Coral ones to add to the card as they match perfectly. And here's your finished card. I used three dots, a large one flanked by two smaller ones beside the greening. And I did it again in a different color, this time Coastal Cabana, vertically instead of horizontally. 
using a different greeting, you are one of a kind embossed in white on Coastal Cabana, cut up and added with Stampin' Dimensionals. Same idea with the gemstones, but this time I used rhinestones. In here you have two different variations of the same, the same design. I hope this tutorial inspires you to make your own version of this card. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you did. The subscribe button is on the bottom right of the screen. And if you don't yet have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be able to help you with your stamping needs. All the links to purchase are in the description, as well as links to my blog and online shop. Happy stamping, everyone!